Hey guys, welcome back to Let's Play Football Manager 2017, and we are in January, which means we're going to be playing every game live on video for the month of January. Uh, this is something that I think, uh, well, it combines the sort of old methods of recapping everything, but also adds a few live comms in there, so that's what we're going to do here and now. Um, so, I should just also point out very quickly, sorry for the uh, slight delay or whatever it is or the, the stoppage in videos i've had a bit of a crazy week i'm not sticking to schedule if you follow me on twitter i would have uh, you would have seen that i said this um but yeah i've it's personal life comes first and all that type of thing so uh, i do apologize for that but we are here now and that's the most important thing now today the game football manager 2017 itself in the full is out uh, you can buy it on steam and i've been playing the beta as you know for the last two two and a half weeks and I think it's been pretty good overall. Now, it's, this is still the beta. I just want to point out, I'm recording this on the Thursday. So uh, we are still in the beta, but this, this is essentially the full game in all but name. Hey, that rhymes. So we're going to go into this now. Uh, Manchester City. We're playing them in a moment. Let's have a quick look at the league table. This is how it stands at the moment. We are six points behind Arsenal, who have lost their unbeaten record to West Ham, in case you didn't see that. Uh, Man U are three points behind those, but they have a game in hand for some reason. City are then behind them, then come Chelsea, Liverpool, Southampton, Watford, and then Sunderland. I, I don't know. <laughs> I really don't know. But apart from that, that's only the, the, the major anomaly that I think you could say. I mean, obviously, exclude Tottenham because I'm in control of them. But yeah, um, that's, that's how it looks at the moment. Now, we're going to go over transfers and various bits and pieces like that. Uh, another time, we'll look at all the other leagues. We've got the whole month to do that, so... Uh, for this one, I just want to get into the game, get back into it, you know, because I know it's, it's been a little while since I uploaded. So, um, yeah, we're just going to throw it right back in there and uh, we'll see how we go. So, as you see, the start of the transfer window, there he is. Now, there's various free agents and stuff that I'm going to take a look at, but I want to get this game out the way first. This is sort of the big one. It's a very important game. This The only problem is, uh, you may have seen, in fact, I will show you the results, one thing I haven't done yet, since the defeat to Arsenal... Ignore the Barcelona game. <laughs> no, I'll show you very quickly. Um, we basically had to go for it. It was a very, very hard task. So go to the new camp and win. And as you can see, um, Paolo, I can never, ever, ever say this guy's name. I'm usually okay with names. Um, but this one, is it Al Alcacer? Al 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 I really don't know how you say it. Um, anyway, he scored two. Then Kane got one back, and then we, we were going for it. It's like, we have to win here, stand any chance. So... As you can see, the goals from Suarez and Turan came late when we were really pushing for it, so that's why the result was a bit uh, lopsided. Then a 1-1 draw to Bournemouth. Now, Musa Sissoko has been taking a lot of flack from Tottenham fans recently, and I think for good reason. Uh, I seen someone on R Soccer on Reddit the other day say, uh, one of the worst Tottenham signings of all time, and it's, it's like me, it's November. <laughs> a bit harsh. But yeah, he was. I watched the Tottenham Leverkusen game. I thought he was terrible. He was just running at plays. I, I mean, I've criticised Football Manager for that for saying, why why do players literally just run into other players? That's what Musa Sissoko actually does, so I might rescind that. But yeah, he scored um, to equalise after Benekophobia put them ahead. That was a bit of a disappointment, but ever since then, again, a, a tweak of, attack, of, the, of the tactic, I should say, has brought these results. A 3-1 victory over Watford, two for Icardi, one for Aldo Weireld, one more for, uh, one more for Icardi against Stoke, who is now pretty much back to no not almost full uh, yeah almost full fitness um three two against Southampton Harry Kane Christian Eriksen and Kevin Wimmer of all people with the goals Shane Long uh, scored uh, another early goal I've seen quite a lot of these sort of sub 90 second goals a lot of them like watching other FM YouTubers as well I'm not saying that doesn't happen in for hell as I record this uh, Musa Sal just scored a sub 90 minute goal against uh, sorry it's not sub 90 second goal I should say against Manchester United in the Europa League so yeah, it's just I noticed quite a lot. It's a bit of, you know, a recurring theme, so to speak. Then a 3-1 victory over Swansea. Two goals for Sissoko again, somehow gone 9.3. And Moussa Dembele. And then a 2-1 victory over Leicester on New Year's Eve. Two goals for Harry Kane after Slimani put Leicester ahead. So a double over the champions there. That's always nice, isn't it? So this uh, is how we go into it then. So as you can see, New Year's Eve, we then play on the second. That... <laughs> That is harsh. That's all I'm going to say. Um, I don't know. I think this actually is how it goes in real life or, or something similar. I'm not quite sure why they're all packed in. Football Manager, for the for the most part, does a pretty good job 
at scheduling. I mean, there are occasions, you know, where you go, oh my God, where I've got these loan deals, which I will sort out off camera because no one wants to see that. Um, now, the, now the team here, I'm going to show you now, there's the uh, social feed. There's the uh, typical sort of positive, neutral and negative response for Harry King's performance against Leicester there. But yeah, uh, we're going to show you the team now. Now, it is going to be a little bit depleted, which is not ideal, considering we are playing the favourites. Ah, also, my new assistant manager, Michael Lindemann. Um, I forget who it was. I completely forget who the other assistant manager was, but he was poached, and this is the guy I found here. Uh, he looks pretty good, I think. He's on less wages as well, um, with the exception of sort of um technical and working with youngsters i i think that's he's pretty solid all around so i'm quite happy with that now um i mentioned i'm going to do this thing live i'm not going to do this every every video for january but i'm going to show you sort of me setting up so here's the tactic we have a standard structure with five instructions uh to exploit exploiting the flanks with the early crosses fairly wide and that's pretty much it with some closing down um i found with standard anytime we went sort of control or attacking we would just leak goals. And the same thing again with uh, Fluid. We would always just leak goals. We're still conceding, but not at the rate. And this seems to work. I don't know. It's, it's just, you know, when you just land on something, you go, ah, that's it. The, you know, the Eureka moment almost. So I'm just going to use Quick Pick here. Um, mm, okay. So as you can see, a lot of the... Okay, I think I might... Where well, there he is, Rabio. Maybe move Rabio into a deep-lying playmaker role in this sort of anchorman-ish it's not an anchorman it's not a different role but in this sort of defensive midfield role um and have ericsson and then Bailey. now as you can see match fitness or condition i guess is a little bit of an issue if this was anyone else or if this was someone else out there outside the top five i would rotate but we're playing berry or burry uh, depends how you pronounce that in the fa cup as you saw in a few days time I can rotate the team then. I would rather push them now and let them have a rest later. And, you know, I'm not, I'm not going to rotate the team. I would be surprised if Manchester City did that as well. Now, Lamel is not match fit, but that's fine. We will have to go with that. Now, we're interestingly with a favourite. That is very interesting. Uh, I think 2D Classic should also be uh, fixed by now. So hopefully when we go into the game here. Uh, ah, Gabriel Jesus, of course, who is a new signing as of January, I believe, for Manchester City. He should be very interesting. I think who's he played for? Was it Santos or some other one of these? I don't know. Sep. The Blatter team, we'll call them. Um, they have Fabian Delph then in midfield alongside Fernando. Very strange. But no new signings so far. Just Claudio Bravo in goal, as you'd expect. And that's about it. So, well, here we go. <laughs> it just should be very interesting. We'll just... Uh, uh, Ah, there we go. I should actually might need to reapply that. Okay. Where, what can we use here? The Avenge one's usually quite good. And that usually, yeah, that gets the team going. Ah, let's put it back to 2D Classic. And in theory, this should now work. I said in theory, this should now work. <laughs> Come on, game. <laughs> I've been watching a lot of other FMers who say that uh, 2D Classic now works. Oh, come on. Oh, God, look at Dembele already. I don't know if he's had a tackle or something done on him. Huh, that's not good. Well, okay, absolutely no highlights. We're using key highlights, by the way. Right, okay, so for... Ah, oh, freaking hell. Right, I'm not risking Dembele anymore. He looks quite... Yeah, Deli Ali's going to have to come on. Uh, yeah, that'll, that'll do. Hmm, now do I have him in attack? You know what? I'm going to I'm gonna be a little bit risky. Wow. Risky, and I was going to say risky and put him in attack, but look at this. Eight shots, three on target, zero for Manchester City. And who's injured there? That's Nolito on for Delph. Crikey, your eyes, a lot of injuries. And that is literally the first half with no highlights. Brilliant. <laughs> Absolutely zero. So go, hey, here's 2D Classic working again. Doesn't show me it. Right, let's use the Avenge one again. It, it seems to work. I always say choose that one if, uh, if, it, if the option is there because it seems to get a reaction out of your players. Most of the time, and as you can see there, lovely 2D Classic is finally working. Um, you may, if you, I mean, not everyone uses it, of course, but uh, there was big issues with this um, end match engine when the beta was very first released. Um, I don't know why that is. It's never been a problem in previous FMs, but for whatever reason, yeah, it, it decided to not work. I don't know, maybe something to do with your computer settings. Goodness me, off the bar, who was that? Was it Nolito, I think? 
Well, he's a danger. That's their first shot as well. They're committing a lot of fouls. Went to possession, but all the chance. And it's interesting how all our shots, they're all our efforts. Great save by Loris. Goodness me, Sterling ran through. Um, yeah, all our stuff there was off camera. It didn't show any highlights of that at all. And yet City now have had nothing so far. All the action is going their way. <laughs> Come on, is it going to pull out here now? Ah, no, okay, that's fine. Here we go, I've got a chance. Now, Icardi. I, I was almost a bit, a bit disappointed to drop Harry Kane because he's been so good recently, but Icardi is just a better player. He's got 14 goals this season so far. He's banged them, and he's worth £40 million pounds now, according to his value page. You know, it's pretty damn good. Uh, right, Danny Rose hit it. Oh, <laughs> oh that, that was the football ma manager equivalent of blue balling right there, wasn't it? Goodness me, I thought, here we go, Danny Rose, screamer. Nope, absolutely nothing. So... What do we do? We've got Son, who is being ineffective. Hmm. Do you know what? I am being rather stupid in thinking this, but do I take Icardi off for Kane? He's in good form, Harry Kane. Icardi's not done anything so far. I don't really want to change the formation. Here's the thing. I've got the one up top. I could maybe move Kane. Right, I'm going to try this as... Okay, he kind of works as a Ramdeiter. Yeah, okay, yeah, let's let's try this. This might be a really stupid thing, but Son was having absolutely no impact. Let's see if Harry Kane can. So we've got, oh God, it's still all City. Right? What, what, why do we just like part like the Red Sea when Raheem Sterling gets on the ball? Come on. But look at that, they've had one shot on target, and that was the one I think Lloris just saved from Sterling there. Right, we need, we've got one more sub, we've got ten minutes left. Who do we take off? I haven't really got many options now that I look at it. Uh, I'm not bringing Janssen on. He is... I think a lot of people have been calling him the Dutch Soldado, which is uh, fine, really. <laughs> or as I call him, Vincent Penaltyson. No? All right. Um, that's never a good sign when you virtually your whole defence look nervous. I hate that. Come on. Older Weirold, nervous. As if. Ever, he would be nervous. I'm going to, again, I'm going to be a silly, I'm going to make a silly decision here. I'm going to bring on Trippier for Lamella. This is almost certainly not going to work, but I swear, if he scores the winner now, he's the, I need to replace Lamella, Lamella. His fitness is off. He wasn't having an impact in the game. He's the only wide player I had. I had to sort of think of something, and that is the football manager equivalent of improvising. That's all I can say. Right, oh, guys, we've got five minutes to go. Here come Manchester City again. It's It really does tell the whole story. Oh, not, not, not Gabriel Jesus, Laurie standing tall. It really does say something when all the highlights have pretty much gone for City, even though we've dominated the game. I've ne I don't think I've seen that too many, uh, too many times in football manager where statistically one team wins it, then highlights wise hold on here's a card oh it's blue balled me again stop doing that game now i've mentioned previously I'll try to refocus it oh hang on chance maybe from a corner harry kane now come on attack the ball attack the ball got another chance put it in the box do not hit it off one other player please do not let them counter chance here here's harry kane it was a terrible angle claudio bravo was easily gonna Save that one, really. But he's in good form, Harry Kane. You would not have put it past him. And Christian Eriksen, midfield. Come on. I mean, I was like, pointed to Delhi Ali there. Again, ineffective. What is his role? 6.6. .6. What does he do? I'm looking at him at the moment going, hmm. I'm not, I'm not going to sell him. But you know what? He just, I, I need to take him out of the team, I think. Because he doesn't do anything. He doesn't score. He doesn't assist. Well, in fact, let's take a quicker look, a closer look at him here. I'm going to say I'm happy with that. Yeah, that's fine. Nil-nil against Manchester City. Sorry for the lack of goals, but that's the way it goes. Uh, let's have a look at him. He's had nearly two-thirds of the game to get involved. Just this year, what has he actually done? He's had four, He's got one goal and two assists. He's actually got more assists for England than he has for us this year. That's never good, but... Yeah, um... I'm very, very confused as to what to do with him. If you guys have any uh, you know, ideas of what I can do, please let me know. Yeah, at the moment, 
Deli Alley is a bit of the uh, the square peg in the round hole. I don't know what he brings to the team. I can't really find a role at the moment that brings out his good side, so to speak. Yeah, if we uh, go back to the match here, let's continue. So we go within five points of Arsenal, who uh, still have a game in hand. Now, Moussa Dembele is out for a week or so. Oh, actually, we're not too badly injured. Oh, that's good. <laughs> when it comes... Well, God, blimey, Stoke with six injuries. Um, so, yeah, that's not too bad, then. A nil-nil against City could be a lot worse. At least we uh, stopped them scoring. But that is an end to our winning run, which is always a bit of a shame. But we should pick it back up again, as next time we have the FA Cup third round game against Bury. Now, uh, <laughs> I will be doing this one live as well, despite the fact that it is almost certainly nailed on win for us, but gives me a chance to talk about other things whilst the uh, game goes on in the background. And I do have a few things I would like to talk about as well. Not, it's not necessarily related to Football Manager, but um, I will talk about the game, of course, but I just want to, whilst the game is going on, I do just want to mention a few things so that is going to be the end of today's video guys thank you very much for watching if you enjoyed please like it and i will return hopefully tomorrow for the bury fa cup game so uh yeah i will see you then goodbye